Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So once again, this is going to be something a little bit different. We're trying a bit of a new setup here. So as you can kind of see, I'm going to go ahead and compare some of the sounds of the KSR series and the Randall Satan 50. So I have both of these going into different effects loops in my Helix. So similar to some of my last videos, um, I can just click back and forth on the Helix to go back and forth between these sounds. So right now the KSR series is has a Highwind Direwolf and a Fortin Zool running into it. I'm not going to turn on the, high, the Direwolf yet, so no boosts or anything as of yet. And then the Randall Satan has a Phalanx, uh, a Highwind Amplification Phalanx gate, which is gating both the front end and the loop of this amp. So one thing about the Satan is it's a pretty noisy amp in terms of just the FX loop. That may just be mine, because like I said, I got mine for very cheap and it showed up with a broken clean channel so I have to send it off to get repaired at some point. But the gain channel appears to be just fine other than being a little noisy. But we'll see what's up. Um, so here is the... I'm just going to go back and forth between them with no, no pedals on so we can see what the, the noise sounds like. So this is the series. A little bit of noise, not much. And this is the Satan. Again, not terribly much noise. But, so, still on the Satan, I'm going to turn on the Phalanx. And now it's silent. Switching away from the Satan, going back over to the series. I'm going to turn on the Zool. Also silent. Alright, so let's have some fun. Start twisting some knobs. We're going to start with everything on noon as per usual. Feels on tight and we're on the Artemis red ch red mode, which is this this is pretty much how I tend to use the series. <laughs> Back over to the series. So we're going to go to the colossal lead mode on the series. And I feel like that may be a slightly better comparison with these, with everything at noon on these amps. So what you can't, the only control that's active that you can't see on the Satan right now is the resonance and the presence controls, both of which are at noon. But this is still the series. <laughs> Satan. So yeah, obviously there's a bit of a big difference there, right? So I've noticed that with my Satan, I tend to have to run the gain fairly high or turn on the kill mode to really get it going. So let's increase the gain on the Satan. Let's Let's bring the Satan closer to the series where it's sitting.
Back over to the series. The Satan also has this sweep uh, switch, which adjusts the mid-range. It's in the center right now. I tend to find it best there, but let's mess with it. Satan. All right, so we're going to use everything that the Satan has to offer to kind of bring it in line because right now it's not looking so good. So the presence knob over here is what we're going to adjust. Like I said, both presence and resonance are at noon. We're going to add a little bit more presence to the Satan. That might be what the doctor ordered. So the presents went from noon to about three o'clock. Sweep back to mid.
Let's reset the EQ and the gain and turn on the kill mode. figured to go back up to the Artemis Reg mode on the series now too. That feels a little bit more comparable. So with the kill on, it's in serious territory now, I'd say.
actually cut the resonance just a little bit. The depth, I apologize. It's called depth, but it's basically just resonant. So yeah, basically they're quite different, but they both for sure get there. Let's add the the high wind amplification direwolf into the mix. So we're still on the series, like I said, but let's put all the EQ back to noon, and we're gonna see the gain as well, and we're gonna see how they react to the direwolf and what directions I can take them in with the direwolf. Let's go over to the Satan and the direwolf. So the Satan's kill is off and all of the EQ is reset back to noon but the resonance is still at about 3 o'clock I mean the presence is still at about 3 o'clock <laughs> so here's a dire wolf with no boost but the volume is full no drive but the volume is full So yeah, it definitely pushes the Satan into a good place with everything else at noon. Let's hop back over to the Direwolf. I mean, to the series. Back over to Satan. So yeah, the store as the story goes, this Satan is supposed to sound like an already boosted amp, but I don't think that that's true without like turning on kill and kind of really dialing in the gain a whole bunch. You can for sure get there, but and that's a good thing. So that just says that the Satan does have a whole bunch of range, because with settings generally at noon sweep back to the middle with pretty much all the settings at noon uh, and kill not on <laughs> Satan is not a very super it's not super gainy at this point like it's it's kind of dry it's a, it's a dry gain and t it's tight certainly not over the top and can definitely still be boosted into with great results.
Let's dial in some gain on the pedal and see what happens. The pedal gain is just under noon now. Let's leave that on and turn on the boost of the Dire Wolf. Let's turn on the kill too, for shits and gigs. Definitely too much. I know if I had turned off my noise gates just now, it would have been ridiculous. And that requires me to turn my gate way, way up. So yeah, that's not. I'm not gonna keep messing with that. That's not even pleasant. So. This is the Dire Wolf pretty much blasting a whole bunch of output and gain to the series and straight up the series doesn't take it well because it doesn't need that much. The series is very much a pedal that to my experience works best with sure give it a clean boost but it doesn't even need that much. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. Take care.